Are you going to do a walkthrough of Persona 5 Royal? Yeah. How's it going, guys? I'm back. And I got a lot of talk about today, and I think it sort of deserves its own video. So today, we're going to be going over my plans for P5R. I'm sure that a majority of you are aware that at the end of the month, the long-awaited enhanced version of Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal, will be released. And yes, the guy with the Persona icon will be playing the game on his YouTube channel. Again. This is the first ever instance where we replayed a Persona game on the channel. When we played Persona 3, it was the FES version considered by most to be the definitive edition of that game, and when we had a Persona 4 walkthrough, we did it on the Vita with Persona 4 Golden. At first, I didn't even know if I should make another 4,100 episode playthrough of the same game again, but hear me out. After a lot of thought, a lot of preparation, and just really comparing and contrasting the positives and the negatives, I've decided that yes, I will be making a Persona 5 Royal walkthrough on March 31st. And this is why. It's been a long time since we covered the original Persona 5 game here on the channel. If I recall correctly, it's been two, almost maybe three years ago since we started it. And uh, frankly, I think I've improved a lot as far as commentary, editing, and just overall humor, and I'm a lot more comfortable with making videos again. And when I go back into the past and look at some of those older Persona 5 videos, I'm just I'm just really not happy with them, man. And that's kind of sucks, you know? I love the Persona series, and I kind of prided myself in a way of having covered, you know, at least the main three that people talk about nowadays. I still want to go back and do the older games eventually, but that's a discussion for another day. Today we're talking about Persona 5 Royal, but I don't feel like I'm the same dude, like, anymore. Really, once we started transitioning into games where I was doing them blind, I felt like, hey, I could do a lot more different things, I'm not in walkthrough mode, and I can take a lot more risks, and I want to take that mentality and that style of video creation into Persona 5 Royal. So even if you saw my original walkthrough, there's still gonna be some new stuff in there for you. I'm not trying to pat myself on the back here. Well, that's pretty much exactly what I'm doing, but hear me out. I think, truthfully, I have improved a lot in two years as far as, you know, creating videos, the equipment that I'm using, character voices, and just overall making a more pleasant experience. And I'm super excited to be able to showcase that in P5R. On top of that, it's been a minute since I've even played the game. <laughs> um, I may have this facade that I'm the ultimate Persona 5 fan, but truth be told, I've, I've only played the game like two times. And that's it. I played Persona 3 probably, I don't know, like... It's, it's getting close to double digits. And to prepare for my Persona 4 Golden Let's Play, I probably played that game like five times and that's just for the walkthrough before that I played even more I had some parts of that game completely memorized persona 5 not so much and the fact that I'm playing the game again lets me talk about a lot of different things sort of do like director's commentary and the fact that we've interviewed the creators of persona 5 like a thousand times you know through art books and stuff like that I have a lot more foresight and information and trivia to share with the viewer and I think that'll be you know something kind of neat because of persona Five's major success, right? We have so many people that are interested in it. Thus, Atlas is giving us more information, and you know, fans have also uncovered a little bit, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So, yes, it won't be a blind playthrough per se, because I've already played the game before, but Persona 5R does have new content, and I know that new content is gonna be ways away. Um, probably in the winter season, so it's gonna take us a bit to get there, but that's new stuff for one of my favorite games of all time like what the crud i want to i want to see that i want to do videos on that man and just overall persona 5 was a great game but i'm so eager and excited to see what the crud is going to happen with that new content along with that uh i also got feedback on my persona 5 walkthrough a lot of it on the way i talk Sorry, I was sorry, that sound weird. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of agree with them. Uh, back in the day, I had to record those videos very, very late at night, and I can't scream and holler 
at that hour. Uh, I don't know if I've ever talked about this on camera before, but I basically lived really close to an airport, and the only time planes would not fly over my head and ruin my recordings was super late at night. So making videos was kind of stressful. Nowadays, that's not an issue. So I can incorporate better edits and, you know, make funnier videos, which is really my goal with P5R to just highlight some of the weird things that I pick up on the first time. Um, but on top of that, I think just having people be like, hey, this was cool, but you should probably quit doing this is incredibly helpful. I'm still going to try and do my own thing, but really having that type of feedback wasn't anything I ever had before. So what am I trying to say here? Okay, so you know when I did that thing with the horse in that one random episode? Yeah, we're, we're probably gonna do some more of that, just, just so you know, okay? My point is, my original paradigm when I did the first Persona 5 walkthrough was okay. Fans have waited eternity for these games. I don't want to ruin their uh, fun, and I want to just have a good walkthrough, and that'll be that, and not really interjecting any of my personality into the videos. That was secondary, you know? This time, I just... I think I can do both. I think I can entertain and also showcase what makes this game series so phenomenal. So I'm already taking the steps for that. There's in the very couple episodes, there are gonna be some really random parts. You'll be like, wait, what? So for you people that only listen to my videos, guess what? You're gonna have to you're gonna have to turn your eyeballs on and see what the phrase going on. It's gonna be great. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you're looking forward to it. I have to say vague because I'm technically still under NDA. Yes, I do have the game currently. I can't talk about it any more than that, but I am already starting to record some of the episodes for a walkthrough this early. Sadly, this is taking time away from the normal videos I would be uploading, and I'm trying to work on a fix. I'm debating doing some live streams, you know, some videos to kind of hype up the release to Persona 5 R. I just, you know, I'm only one guy, and what can I say? I want to play Persona 5 all freaking day. Now let's talk about some negatives here. Not everybody's into Persona. I know that. Here on the channel, I know our avatar is the Persona 5 protagonist, but it's the truth. Not everybody wants to see another Persona 5 walkthrough from yours truly, and it pains me to say that uh, this game is going to take me a lot of time to complete. It's going to be also a big time commitment. Am I really going to have to take another six months to beat this game? I hope not. And for those who stick around, I hope to have something for you guys to watch in between these videos. I'm really, really excited for YouTube again. I know I've had kind of kind of a weird winter, honestly, with the upload scheduling, but no. I'm ready to get back in the swing of things. I know I've made empty promises before, but truth be told, I want to give my all and make the best god dang series of videos I've ever made. Persona games are a marathon, but this ain't my first rodeo. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I, I don't really have uh, much else to say. Uh, I plan to do some smaller videos leading up to the game. Like I said before, this is sort of like two years ago, if you recall. We did Catherine, but I didn't upload Catherine every single day because I've been way too much work. We're sort of doing the same thing here now, so if you're upset there hasn't been daily videos, I apologize for that. Not to super date this video or anything, I do understand there is... A lot of scary things going on in the world right now. A lot of people are staying home and they're like, what the heck, I can't watch this dude's videos. He's not putting anything out. And part of the reason I've not been daily uploading is I truthfully did not believe I would get a review copy of this title this early. But <laughs> And secondly, there's just not been a game I think I can complete in like the short amount of time from P5R's release at the end of the month till now. So I'm try trying to just take things easy as I bulk record. So I appreciate all of you who have been patient with me. Uh, there's just been an unreal amount of support on the channel uh, for so long. It's insane to believe I still get to do this job and I really have to thank all of you who just continue to watch these silly gaming videos. So anyways, uh, Persona 5R part one, it will be coming out. We're going to be uploading it at midnight that day and i just cannot wait to show you guys this awesome game all over again so yeah it's gonna pretty much do it guys i know kind of on the short side but you know i kind of want to get back to editing <laughs> so see you guys when i see you more content coming soon see you in the next video bye